one of the examples that he talked to me about was in Colorado where he went down into granite and so they're they're blasting down into granite and suddenly they came to a cavity that shouldn't have been there so they went down to explore what was going on what this cavity was and it turned out to have in it a UFO and uh, an alien body now this had occurred so long ago that there was actually like quartz that had formed over the ship and the alien's body this was the first clue that he had that aliens had been here living in the earth for probably millions of years when we think about being invaded by aliens forget it they're already here and they have been here they've been a part of our life since the beginning the second time you told say, me I'm sorry go ahead Oh, the second time he told me about the alien contact was through the deep underground mountain bases with the Dulce, New Mexico. Right, and, the Dulce firefight. Right, the firefight. And he, he told me about that, how the men came down. And to me, the number was like 21 people originally went down. He Again, they're blasting holes, and suddenly they discover that there's a cavern already there. So they go down and explore what's going on there. And they find um, lizard aliens, dracos is what he would call them. So they're big, tall, reptilian looking. Yeah, they der derive one of their happy drugs from us. So when they frighten us and we get the adrenaline going, yeah, um, that's like a drug to them. But then they eat our blood. Really? Yeah, they eat it. Yeah, they want our blood, and they they eat our body parts. There was this Is big that giant bat. Certain ones. Well, it sounded like the reptilian ones specifically were doing this, and the greys help them get people. So the greys help abduct people, usually children. You know, there's a million children that disappear every day. I mean, every year in the United States. A million every year but we we only hear about a couple of he said there were seven types of aliens and out of those two were friendly that actually tried to help us one of them looks very similar to us they they're a little larger did he say what but, they were called he said they were from the Pleiades. Oh, the Pleiades. So the, okay. the aliens that were from the Pleiades looked more like us and were more friendly to us.